$13.99. And the panhandle in, and in the southern part of the United States so that you can catch up, if you will, in eradicating at least... Joyce Green would like to be the fourth qualifier and will make the attempt for Casino Oil PJ in $13.99. Vaccine. Something we have, we're working on the vaccine for well, as well is Ebola. Uh, about 18 months ago, there was the huge Ebola scare. We were all going to die from Ebola. Everything was crazy about Ebola. Is this another Ebola that's going to turn out to be nothing, or is this real? No, no, this is real, and Ebola is real. You know, what happened in the Ebola epidemic, Ebola is still out there. Uh, we've just not seen, spur, you know, come out in, in large numbers anymore. We still don't have an Ebola vaccine after hundreds of thousands of millions of dollars put into that kind of work. And that's an ongoing problem. So, you know, it's, it's a matter of time before we may have another Ebola outbreak. However, I think the health authorities down in, in, in Africa are kind of keeping things in check. And the same thing with, with the Zika virus. This is a real, real, real problem. And, uh, and it's a problem that is much broader, if you will, because it's such a pandemic. It goes all the way to the southern corner of the America, Central America, and now North America. So this is a much bigger problem. A bigger problem and incredibly scary, uh, devastating, you might say, effects of it. Uh, Dr. Alvarez, appreciate your insights and analysis today. Thank you, sir. And there will be a special tonight, you don't want to miss, hosted by Trace Gallagher, Fighting Zika. Fox News reporting at 8 p.m. Eastern tonight. And coming up after the break, we had the chance to go inside the Pentagon and sit down with the Secretary of the Air Force. What and who she says is the greatest threat to the U.S. and how she helps to recruit America's bravest. That's up next. The number one thing, Elizabeth, that we offer in the military is we offer uh, a young man or a young woman the opportunity to come. And unfortunately, though, Joyce Green had her eyes on the finish line. It's the last fence that comes down for four faults aboard the casino.